Plans for today are Magic Kingdom, a visit to Wilderness Lodge, and then dinner at Boma at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Join us today for day number seven. Good morning and welcome to Walt Disney World Adults Only here at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House and today we are on day number seven. We've had a bit of a slower start to today. Uh, it is now about quarter past ten in the morning. We had a lay-in, much, much needed. Uh, we've had some breakfast at the Mara, just a quick croissant and some coffee uh, and now we are on our way to Magic Kingdom for the day. We've got Genie Plus uh, booked first up for Splash Mountain. Then we're going to Town Square to meet Mickey and Minnie. We'll get the most out of our Genie Plus we can today. We're going to do one after the other at uh, Magic Kingdom. It's going to close early today because it's Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. So the park closes at 6. So we're going to have a little whiz across to Wilderness Lodge. Have a quick look around. Maybe grab a drink at Guys of Point Bar and Grill before coming back here for Boma. And a little bit of an early night we've got a full-on day tomorrow at universal so we're going to kind of have a dinner at the resort and then a chilled evening ready for a mad day tomorrow anyway we're about to go and get a bus uh so we'll see you at magic kingdom Tell me, what is this? The wildest ride in the wilderness.
so sweet. Very sweet. You look good. Very good. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> 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 yeah, we got yeah, your for the At the wishing well. At the wishing well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's so exciting. For a Big cheese. There you go. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So our day at Magic Kingdom has started really nicely. Uh, we met a couple of WDWAO members on the bus this morning from Canada. So we had a really lovely conversation with them. They're annual pass holders. They've got three DVC contracts and they come about four times a year. So speaking to them and hearing their experiences was really lovely. When we first arrived, uh, we had a Genie Plus for Splash Mountain. I thought it was probably going to be my last ever ride of Splash Mountain, but sadly it didn't happen. Uh, the ride went down and so we couldn't ride it. We got given a fast pass to use on a list of different attractions instead so uh, we chose Big Thunder Mountain we rode that that was really cool after that we had a meet and greet Genie Plus for Mickey and Minnie at the Town Square Theatre we haven't actually been in there yet um, a little bit disappointed that Talking Mickey is no longer here but it was still a really cute experience um, and also they've got rid of the photo pass photographer so now um, it's all done by an automated camera which didn't feel as special I'm sure the photos will come out great we haven't seen our photos yet uh, Mickey and Minnie saw our Engage badges, so they would love those. They're pointing those out and uh, congratulating us. So that was a really sweet experience in Town Square Theatre. But I do miss the photo pass photographer in there, and I really do um, miss talking Mickey. It was so cute to have him talking to you and doing magic tricks and stuff. Um, it was nice to see them both together. They were both wearing their special celebration 50th outfits, which was also really sweet um so yeah this morning started off really well um i'm not sure what we're going to do next maybe festival of fantasy parade i think that's about to start so we may find a spot to watch that um how's being back at magic kingdom this morning after the last time you were here emotional and i nearly cried coming up main street you nearly this cried morning. Coming yeah. up main the street? only reason why i didn't cry is because we stopped to do a photo pass uh, we've had quite a few photos of them, haven't we? But it's very nice. I love it here, yeah. What did you think about meeting Mickey and Minnie? It's nice, but I'm not I'm not big into the character Mickey. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit awkward with it all, to be no. honest. But they're, they're sweet. No, you were and straight really... in there for a hug with Mickey. Yeah. You were straight in. But it's, it's, it's so sweet to like see that there was the little girl that was before us. She Tiny it. little girl, and she was just like couldn't believe it could she she was so excited so excited it's so nice Professor. for the kids it really is yeah i remember when we came on the last trip and my nephew casey he met them for the first time he was absolutely in awe was that here that was here it was only mickey then um and i think he was talking at the time i think he was talking mickey um but he was absolutely in love with the experience like as a two-year-old seeing mickey mouse like, he was it's something that i don't think any of our family would ever forget and what do you think of big thunder mountain yeah, it was good. I like it. I'd probably, I'd like to do it again today. Yeah, I'm sure we can do that. We've yeah. got Genie Plus. There's lots of availability on there today. Yeah. What do you want to do next? Um, I, I don't know. Just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, should we have a look at what Genies are available? I know we've got a Jungle Cruise one booked for a little Ooh, while. Oh, I forgot about that. When's that? That's about 1.50. We've got a little wait for that. Oh. But we can put another one in before, so... Maybe like doing Dumbo or, or something, something like small. that. Okay, we're going to have a look at that, shall we? Head yeah, to Fantasyland? Like yeah, Fantasyland. <laughs>
David, you're looking very, very sweaty. <laughs> Did you enjoy your first stuff for the fantasy parade? I love it. I love it. What was your best clothes? The, the dragon from... Um, Maleficent. Maleficent. Yeah. It's impressive. Are man. you a festival of fantasy fan? Yes. So nice for Dracula to see it, isn't it? <laughs> Amazing. Do you want ice cream? Snow White Cone from the Storybook Treats. Very nice, very lemony. It's a very, very hot day today and this is really nice um, and cool in it. Yeah, so loving it, really nice. Have you been on a small one before? Not here, no. No, are you excited? Are you going to sing? Let's hope so. Where are we going now? 
bear show. What's it called? Country Bear Jamboree. Country Bear Jamboree. They look a bit weird. <laughs> they, they dance like you, though. Yeah, we ain't going anywhere anyhow. We're kind of hung up here. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Julie. Hi, Would how you are you today? Would you vlog? <laughs> well, of course. What are you vlogging? Uh, we're from a uh, YouTube channel called What Disney World Adults Only. Oh, yes, I know that. that you Facebook? know? Yeah. yeah. Fa Facebook, yeah. You, you know, know us? Uh, I do. I look at it. Not often, but I You need to look at it more often. I will look at it. That's so it. awesome. Yeah, so good yeah. job. Good Doing job. a little bit of a vlog series. What are you looking at right now? Did we're you... looking for the lightning lane for Jungle Cruise. Oh, well, look. It's just past those tiki men. Oh, okay, cool. And to your right. Is this anybody's first time on the Jungle Cruise? Yeah, we got a few, we got a few. If you look right up here, we have both space advice, and it's always good for a quick bite. Rabbit hat, we have the African elephant. Did you guys know that elephant have one of the best memories in the jungle? How would I had a memory like that? We do have to watch out for this guy right up here, though. He is one hungry, hungry hippo. So get your marbles ready. Get your cameras ready. This is
Yeah. How much you get? Very. It's all on my bum and everything. <laughs> what, the boat? <laughs> Okay, so we are having the best day at Magic Kingdom today. The crowds here are really low. Somebody told me that if you come to Magic Kingdom during the day, on a day when there is a Halloween party, the crowds are a lot lighter because people tend to make a whole day of a park. And so when they can't make a whole day, they will go to somewhere else. And I think that's the case today because the crowds are really, really low. So we've done lots and lots of rides so far today. What ones have we done? Can you remember? Done pirates. Yeah, okay. Yes. How was that? Done it before, right? We done it before, yeah. But it, yeah, it was good to sort of go around and see all the details again and stuff. It was like it was like a walk on, so there was like just made sense just to walk straight on to it and we do didn't it. Didn't queue, we? we didn't queue at all. Actually, no, did we? we walked straight on. Yeah. So that was really good. We've done Jungle Cruise. That was your first time on that. What did you make of that? I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like the Jungle Cruise. It's cheesy. It's a bit dad jokey. Not my favourite ride, but it's it's good. All the like. The planting and scaping's done really well, isn't it? So yeah. It's... And did you enjoy seeing the plastic animals? <laughs> no, not really. No. <laughs> yeah. We did uh, Prince Charming's uh, carousel, didn't we as well? Yeah. That was Got good. Some good shot to you on that. Did you? Yeah. Uh, that was good. Uh, we've done it's Small World, um, a ride that a lot of people hate, but I absolutely love. One of my favourites. You've done it in Disneyland Paris before, but this was your first time here. Did you like yeah. it? Yeah. I can't remember what the one in Paris was like. I don't think it's as big as the as one, this one here. here. Yeah. But you liked it? Yeah, it's cool. Cool. We did Country Bears Jamboree. What did you make of that? It's just the creepiest thing I've ever seen, I think. So I'm going to tell you now that on our team, WDWAO, I always, always get slated for not liking the creepy bears. Sorry, the country bears. Um, I think it's the, the weirdest thing at Magic Kingdom and i'd probably get rid of it tomorrow uh, along with the tiki room um so going on that i haven't done it probably since 2001 but i made a promise to helen that i would do it i'll be honest helen if you're watching this will be the last time i ever do that attraction it was just so weird we're not country music lovers anyway are we it's, maybe it's, you'd like it if you were I'd, but even then i'm not sh so sure yeah I, i'm not so sure <laughs> so you've seen the festival of fantasy parade that was your first time seeing the parade yeah. did you enjoy that it's so impressive like all the f how they do the floats and the dragon breathes fire i, just, I was just so impressed we have saw a cavalcade haven't we with all the characters in their 50th costumes as well that was mickey that Minnie, was the one when we came in when we morning. first came in yeah. we've done big thunder mountain we've done splash mountain uh, what else have we done? With, I could do with doing Splash Mountain again, to be honest. Yeah, Splash it's Mountain so was hot. awesome. And this will probably be uh, either today or later in should be our last time riding Splash Mountain before it gets re-themed to be in Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I'm really excited for that. I cannot wait for the re-theme. I know it's not popular with many people, but I love Princess and the Frog. I love Princess Tiana. And I'm one of these people that loves change and innovation and moving forward. So um, Splash Mountain, I absolutely adore, but you know, saying goodbye to it isn't too sad. We know we've got a really good ride coming to replace it. So that would be really cool. We're quite hungry now. We've been at Magic Kingdom for, um, we got here at 11. It's now half past three, so that's like four, four and a half hours. We've done quite a lot in four and a half hours though. I think most people would struggle to beat that, the amount of attractions we've done. Mm. Um, so we're gonna get some, gonna go cases, get some corn dog nuggets and some plastic cheese. Thanks to AJ uh, at DFB who recommended the, who well doesn't recommend, she insists that you have that plastic cheese. So get some plastic cheese. We're gonna try the frozen mint julep lemonade as well, which is on both our snack lists. That'd be quite cool. Uh, we've got a Genie Plus for Space Mountain. That might be our last ride for today, but we may squeeze one more in. Maybe do Buzz Lightyear while we're over in Tomorrowland. And then we're going to head across to Wilderness Lodge to check out the lodge and to also uh, have a quick drink at Geyser Point because I really miss that place. It's so cool. Hi, Liverlux. My friend Helen in the UK absolutely loves you. Can you give her a special kiss? 
Ah, that's for Helen. Thank you, little lips. Okay, a very quick update for you. Um, it started to pour down with rain in Magic Kingdom as we came out of Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Um, so we didn't head across to Wilderness Lodge like we had planned. We will do that for later in the trip though. We're still gonna get across there, still gonna go to Geyser Point, but it absolutely poured down, didn't it? Mm. So we did a few more rides, which we'll tell you about after dinner. Um, then we literally uh, legged it out of Magic Kingdom as fast as we could. Uh, got on a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge. We came back, thought we'd have a little chill out in the room and both fell asleep. So we're going to Boma Flavours of Africa for dinner tonight. Uh, we'll take you along with us and we'll give you our review afterwards, but um, we also need to tell you about Casey's Corner as well. Um, so we'll do that as well after dinner, but yep, uh, we're gonna go and eat now and then we'll give you a full update. That's really sweet, isn't it? So our servers bought us a glass of complimentary champagne to celebrate our engagement. I've got a rum-based cocktail and you've got a beer. Safari Amber. Safari Amber. Are we gonna have a little cheers about champagne? Mossy. It's lentils. Oh, lentils are. Ah. I think. Cool. Yeah, lentils, chickpea, pork, beef, Zulu cabbage, Durban chicken. I had to get a meatball. Um, I've got the um, what do they call it? Fufu, mash, horseradish, and then this. I don't really know what it is, but it's lentils and chickpeas, so I'm sure I'll like it. Uh, I've got on my plate uh, some mealy bread, Durban chicken, coconut rice. I've got some fufu, some normal mashed potatoes, some of the beef, uh, some green beans. Uh, I've got some taramine barbecue sauce, and of course the, the famous Boma mustard sauce as well. So yeah, get about to suck in. So 
day seven is coming to an end and what another great day we've had Did you enjoyed today yeah yeah it's been really good our day started off with a bit of a later start which we planned for we didn't set any alarm this morning as you know um we went down to la mara to have some breakfast and we were serenaded weren't we by justin we met justin bless him he's so sweet so i said oh we just got engaged in magic kingdom da, 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 da. and then somehow horror horror he just went in front of the whole restaurant Hey guys, this is David and Daniel and they just got engaged at Magic Kingdom and everyone went Woo <laughs> Was he from Tennessee? Yeah. No, Mississippi actually. Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> he went to sing for us, didn't he? He sung for us. Yeah. He sung quite for us. Quite randomly feed the birds from Mary Poppins, which was lovely but random. I he was quite a good singer though. For an engagement song. Oh, he was so sweet. Though. He was really sweet. And the thing with him was was you know, he didn't just do like a couple of lines on the first verse. He sang us the whole thing. The whole song. The whole song. <laughs> oh bless him. So Justin got a cast compliment put in. Um, from us did you yeah I did him a cast compliment because I thought that was going above and beyond really um, what was needed uh, we went across to Magic Kingdom we met Mickey and Minnie we went on Splash Mountain we went on Big Thunder Mountain we did Pirates of the Caribbean Jungle Cruise it's a small world um, the Regal Carousel Space Mountain Buzz Lightyear's uh, Space Ranger Spin Oh, um, we did do a lot. We did loads, didn't we? We did loads. What else it didn't did we do? feel like we were doing a lot. Did I say it's a small world? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and these were all Genie Plus, mostly, apart from Pirates of the Caribbean, which was just a walk-on. We got some nice photos as well from the photo pass photographers. We watched Festival of Fantasy Parade for the first time, which we, which I love and, and you loved God, as well. No wonder we slept when we got back. And today was so hot. Today was so hot. It was about 33 degrees and it was just absolutely like boiling. Uh, I was sweating just walking around. So uh, really hot day, low crowds though. We've been really lucky with the crowds. And I think that that's probably helping our Genie Plus experience as well. It's worked really well for us, Genie Plus. Um, Space Mountain, oh my God. That used to be my favorite ride at Magic Kingdom. Um, but I don't know what's happened to it. If it's either got worse or if I've got old. But I was getting thrown about all over the place. It was really, really uncomfortable, really rickety, um, jolty. And I guess after you've been on something like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, which is so smooth, I guess it probably makes Space Mountain feel so much worse. And I didn't enjoy Space Mountain for the first time ever. I've loved that ride since I was a kid. All the way through to my last trip, I've loved it. It's been my favorite ride. Um, and today it wasn't. Um, I came off really kind of, ow, ow, that really hurt. Um, so I'm not entirely sure what's happened with Space Mountain or whether it's me getting older. It was weird. <laughs> what do you mean it was weird? I, I just thought it was a really weird ride because you start off and you go through, you know, you've got that long tunnel section. With the blue that lights. all lights up and there's all sounds and it's all quite cool. Yeah. And then there's nothing, it's pitch black, which I get if you're meant to be in space, but there's no, like, you know, you'd think they'd put some, like, neon something inside or some stars, like, like Guardians had, you know? I think the point, though, is that it is pitch black dark, as if you are, like, in and out of space. But it was really jolty, wasn't it? It was it wasn't, very jolty. It wasn't a smooth ride at all. Mm. What did you think of Casey's Corner? We went there for lunch, didn't we? Quite a late lunch. We had um, corn, corn dog dogs. nuggets and ch fries. I was about to say chips, but, but not chips here. Fries here. Um, I had the plastic cheese. Uh, and we both had the mint uh, julep. 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 <laughs> lemonade. Yeah. I mean, it's just fast food. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't... It's, it was okay, wasn't it? It was nothing amazing. Um, but it's not meant to be, is it? What would you give it out of 10? Oh. Six. Six. 
Yeah. You know, I'd give it a five. Corn dogs were nice. There was nothing wrong with them at all. There was nothing wrong with them. For the amount of money that they cost, I think we could have found something better. I think the total bill for us both to have that was about $46, maybe. Maybe it was slightly less than that. But for $46, it's quite expensive. I think it's quite expensive. And I think we'd have got a better meal at Columbia Harbour House. But yeah, yeah. I'd, probably give it a, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10, Casey's Corner. I wouldn't rush back there. Uh, and then it poured down with rain, didn't it? The heavens opened and it absolutely poured down. And all the people arriving for their Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, in all their costumes and their makeup and their hair dye, they all got absolutely saturated. It was quite sad to see. They've made so much effort and people had like coloured hair, like blue hair and, and stuff. it was all running down their face. And... Yeah, and they, it was only just arriving. It was only just after four o'clock, wasn't it? About half past four. But yeah, it was like a whole kind of surge of people coming in. When we left Magic Kingdom, there was a massive queue outside. Um, there was a massive queue for security, a massive queue for the monorail. So we were supposed to go to Wilderness Lodge, but because of the rain, it delayed us getting out. And we were just like, oh God, it's going to be really, really difficult like to kind of get across there, get back, have some chill time and then get to dinner at Boma. So we decided to come back and chill out, but we both fell asleep. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not surprised after everything we did today though. Um, and then we've been down to Boma for dinner, um, which is one of my favourite table service restaurants. I love Boma so much. Um, I would say it's the best buffet um, at Disney, uh, at Walt Disney World by a mile. There's so much choice. We had a really nice server called Doug. Uh, he gave us, um, bless him, he gave us some free champagne as well. Um, so we did a cast compliment for him as well because um, he was really, really lovely. Uh, there was someone behind the buffet that was congratulating you as well. Was he called Jerry? Jerry, yeah. Yeah, he was really sweet as well. Yeah. Um, you had some kind of beer, right? Safari Amber. You had two yeah. pints of that, so I'm guessing that you quite liked it. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice lager, I guess, mm. yeah. Yeah, I had a, a rum-based um, fruity cocktail. That was really good. Not very strong in terms of alcohol, though. I will just say that it didn't taste alcoholic at all. For $15, I would have liked a bit of a, a bit more of a kick with the alcohol. We start with the soups. The soups are my favourite thing now. Um, to the point that I've even got the recipes and I make them at home as well occasionally. Um, so I had the butternut squash, you had the oxtail stew. Mm. That was nice. Yeah, very nice, very tasty. We then had kind of a mishmash of stuff, didn't we? Um, they've just bought the fufu back, which is a sweet potato mashed with a white potato with some sugar and some spice added to it. It tastes a little bit, maybe cinnamony, would you say? Yeah, yeah. But it's a it's, bit it's, it's sweet potato sweet. cinnamony. Yeah, yeah. It's got some it's brown really sugar good. mixed in with it as well. So it's some foo foo. Uh, I had the Durban chicken, which is a firm favourite of mine. Uh, I had some of the prime beef, prime rib, uh, with their amazing mustard sauce and their amazing taramin barbecue sauce. Both of those sauces are really great. So get those. Um, I had some French beans. What else did I have? I tried some mealy bread. Um, which is cornbread. No. Uh, but it was really, really nice. What did you have? I had Zulu cabbage, Durban chicken. Okay, pork. I had a pork rib, just one. Um, I tried a slice of the beef, which was nice. Yeah. Um, did you have any of the salmon? Fufu. I had the mash. Yeah, meatballs. I had it, yeah, I had. <laughs> I had a meat, but I know it's really random. Um, that was it, I think. That was it? Mm. Did you like it? Yeah. What was the best thing you had? Uh, the fufu, probably. I really liked that. But I tried a zebra dome, obviously one of my favourite things. I tried the little pineapple fancy air, uh, which was really good. And the little passion fruit mousse. Um, sorry, no, the little guava mousse Mickey dome that was really good as well and i had a small spoon of the bread pudding it's banana bread pudding with a vanilla custard again really good but i get just too much food for me boma is a solid 10 out of 10 restaurant um and that hasn't changed tonight the experience there was great the service was brilliant the flavor the food was flavorful and yeah it's unlimited food 
I think it's about uh, maybe $49 a person at the moment for the buffet. I think it's $49 per person, which for unlimited food at Walt Disney World with all that selection. What would you give it, David? It would probably be a six or a seven. Really? Quite low then for you. Look, like the food, the food that they had was good. I don't know, I just probably would like to have seen a bit more African stuff. Right. It's because you lived in Africa. Because I lived there as well, so it's probably not fair. I guess for someone who's never been there who comes here is... is fine. Yeah, maybe it's a bit harsh. Maybe like seven. Seven out of ten. I'm going ten out of ten. Boma was amazing. David is completely nuts. <laughs> I, th I think you've figured that out already. So tomorrow we are going to be going to Universal, a first date there. And what are you excited to see there, David? Harry Potter. And what ride are you most excited for? Hagrid's Magical Creatures. Yeah. So we're going. I'm going in the sidecar. <laughs> So we're going to Universal tomorrow. We've got the Express Pass to whiz through the rides. We've also got the Park Hopper to be able to use the Hogwarts Express. We're meeting up with Lisa and Bernie uh, for dinner at Toothsome's Chocolate Emporium. Somewhere that I've never been before. Obviously you've never been. Lisa and Bernie have never been. So that's going to be really cool. So yeah, a Universal day tomorrow. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up and share it and share it with your friends if you like From, our channel if you like our no hang on oh go on if you like our channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when our videos land well done that's really good <laughs> go on then sausage off you go <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's done a really good job with the outro so make sure you're subscribed and we will see you tomorrow. Remember, never grow up. Never grow up. Ready? Yeah. <laughs>